Okay, today is May 13, 2014. Well, the market is still a little bit undecisive and it's kind of choppy right now. You see that big day yesterday, you know, record blowing out, uh, you know, all over the place yesterday. And then today it's kind of peter out, you know, and then back to the, you know, mixed market again, right? So that's why, you know, uh, in an in, uh, environment like this, uh, I, I tweeted out, I think a couple of days ago, to saying that the market is still a day trader's market. Because unless you are doing day trading, uh, don't even bother with this market, you know, and, uh, you know, because uh, these swing trade, you never know, you, you know, it's yesterday just a uh, dead cap bounce, or some people call it a short squeeze, because there really wasn't any catalyst to, uh, you know, uh, uh, justify yesterday's um, uh, market rally, right, you know, even uh, some of these talking heads out there saying that, and, uh, you know, and, and, and a lot of these people basically just, uh, kind of anxious to buy and they just went and bought right now if it's the same as true you know for all these people that is kind of long bias and and if we have a day that drop the same amount but with no catalyst and all these guys say yeah you know it's just technical well yesterday it's also technical so why are the fundamentalists went and chase the stock or go and cheer on the on the stock you know so i'm not saying that it's not a turnaround or it's the turnaround or whatever but as a trader we basically just kind of look at the price action and see what transpired and let the market tell us what it's going to do just because if we have a big rally and then break some of these uh, resistance or something like that then we think it's a reversal of trend right i don't think this one day type of thing is actually you know one could say it's a trend so Instead of, you know, putting my two cents to further confuse the issue, because a lot of people are just confused about this market, right? Is, is it going to go up or go down or what? Right? So everybody have their opinion. So instead, I, th I, I take this opportunity and maybe give you a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, uh, a setup that I use when I day trade. I'm not saying this is the setup for everybody. I'm just using this as an illustration. Maybe that will give you some you know, idea, you know, that you could go and, uh, you know, develop your own setup. You know, in terms of, the, you know, trading, it's not about, you know, you are long or bullish or bearish, you know, it's just about, you know, finding the opportunity that has the uh, odd, uh, you know, uh, in your favor, right? Basically, that's what we call an edge. So you just have to be patient. You don't have to go and jump on everything that moves, right? You know, so, uh, so, so with that said, you know, uh, let, let's go do a couple, couple trades that I did today, you know, and let's just kind of go through the setup. Uh, you know, one is on the IWM, and the other one is on Netflix. Uh, you can see that the uh, daily uh, chart on the IWM here, you know, yesterday here you got this big move, right, you know, big move here, and then today it's kind of got a little bit of an inside ball there, right? Okay, so we don't know, is this thing going to go up or is it going to come back down? And, you know, a lot of people was also, uh, myself included, was looking for this, uh, uh, you know, head and shoulder uh, uh, pattern. It kind of got a little fake and then went back up again. So who no, knows? Maybe in the next couple of days, come back down and break this neckline. And while everybody is not paying attention to this pattern, then it breaks. Right? That's how the market works. When everything is so obvious, how everybody expects something to happen, it doesn't materialize. Right? You know, so... Okay, so let's uh, go and take a look at the uh, intraday chart. And here's the uh, five minute, uh, uh, you know, uh, candlestick chart here on the IWM. And I got some various, uh, you know, resistance line there. Let me get those out. Let me, uh, you know, just, right. So, so this is the IWM. And one of the patterns I like to look at, and you probably have seen some of the video when I talk about candle pattern. Uh, on, on some of the daily chart and that kind of stuff. So essentially, this is the you know one of these candles that I like to see. Right? These are like a uh, so, sort of shooting star on the, you know, after you get a little bit of a, a, a rise, you know, in the prices, and then you see this candle, you know, kind of put up a, like a shooting star doji. Then, you know, you, you, you're sort of looking at that, that because when, when this happened, you know, usually what it implies is, you know, there's some exhaustion on the upside, right? You know, all the buyer might have already bought up here, you know, and just, uh, you know, then uh, there's no buying to, uh, you know, uh, hold up the bid anymore. And the seller just, uh, you know, on his own pressure, just come back down, right? So essentially, that's what we're looking at. And then the thing is, you know, on these kind of setup, you know, uh, you, know you, you could either look for... Uh, you know, after it, uh, you know, go below this low, what I like to do is essentially wait until this candle, you know, at least, 
you know, close at a below this low here. So it kind of tell me that it is indeed, you know, it it has closed, you know, reverse itself a little bit. Then go in and, uh, you know, take a position and possibly put a stop maybe somewhere above that high. Okay, so that way, you know, if uh, if I'm wrong, you know, to tell me that I'm wrong is the price uh, actually doesn't continue to go down and then come back up. Okay, so if we also uh, are using this tool here, and you can see that, uh, you know, if I uh, use my Fibonacci retracement tool, which I set up, let's say uh, a use example as well, you know, that we uh, were basically using the, uh, the the high of this candle. Right, as a, you know, slightly above that is it's a stop, and as soon as it get below this uh, this close of this candle, we'll basically uh, you know go go short or something like that. So so this is the risk right that you are taking on this trade. So if it, if I'm wrong, if the price come back up and get a, hit this, this would be my stop, and I take my you know one off risk loss and you know done right. Okay, but if you you know if you look at it you know let's say you come down to here it's more than you know here's one two three four so it's more like a four hour return if you really play that. Okay, so what happened is that I took that trade you know and then the thing is you know as soon as it also uh, you know as soon as it, it kind of closed back up see how how it hit one of my resistance line that I also set up. Okay. So, uh, you know, it's kind of testing all this, you know, try to get up and down. And I was basically see what it go, you know, go see how low it could go. But also you have to watch the the, uh, the price pattern that tell you that, hey, maybe this thing is done for the day or it's just going to be chopping around or reversal, you know, reversing back. Right? So if you look at this, here's the little big long legged uh, doji candle. Right? Here, you know, you see this. Here's a you know big red candle come down and then you come up come back up here with this white candle. Remember when we say if we combine the candle, this is basically equivalent to this type of doji, which is bullish at the uh, you know at the bottom of the chart, right, of a price pattern. And then again, you could also see there's another doji, you know, in parallel to it. I mean that this thing actually came down and came back all the way up. So you kind of tell you know kind of give you some indication just by watching that that price action that hey you know it might have found a low bottom here for now right because there seems to be you know some buyers seems to be coming in at that level and push it back up okay so so what i'm watching is essentially now would it be able to you know get back above this uh, you know this particular uh, resistance as soon as it close above that resistance see right here it got a little doji i said ah, okay i still gonna look around and wait a little bit okay now as soon as it get close about this uh, you know above this uh, this resistance, I'm out. Okay, so essentially at this candle here, I'm out. Okay, All right. So so you can see that you know, uh, of course you know on these type of day trade, I also trade with a much smaller size because you know I mean if it doesn't work out in 10 or 15 minutes, I'd be out. You know, in uh, one hour loss and done. Right. Okay. So 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 this different you know uh, methodology on the day trade versus swing trade. Okay, but you know these type of pattern, you know, price action could be applicable to any time frame. Okay, so it's not only for uh, uh, you know intraday trading. Right, so so that's uh, you know the uh, IWM, and if we uh, look at the uh, you know Netflix, which is the other one that I also uh, traded. Okay, you see Netflix, you know, yesterday kind of got this little bump up, and essentially you know coming up to this trend line. I think on uh, the weekend video that I put up, you know, essentially we talk about the possibility of coming up to this trend line here, uh, you know, and, and this pivot level as uh, uh, resistant. So yesterday kind of bumped up to that, and then today got a little follow too, but uh, unable to really carry it too, you know. So, but if we look at the intraday chart here, okay, there's a couple play, you know, a couple trades, all depend, you know, are you long uh, bias to the long side or the bias to the short side? Well, to me, I'm a little bit biased on the short side right now, okay, because I, I don't believe this market is done yet, you know, on the downside, okay, but that's only my opinion, but in regardless, you know, if you look at this chart, there's actually, you know, a trade for everyone, okay, if you're on the long side, and you got fast finger, and if you trade, you know, at the early open, and that kind of stuff, you could have in, a, you know, got in on the long side on uh, Netflix, right, so you can see that Netflix on this five-minute chart, Right, Netflix open and come down. Now, 
if you play that five minute ball stuff, that setup, you know, which is another setup that a lot of day traders also use, then you probably got to stop out if you went in on the low of the first uh, five minute ball. And then when it come back up, you know, because your stop will basically be up here, right? You know, your stop is here and then your entry. This is probably your entry and this is your stop. So then you probably got to stop out up here, right? Then you're done, right? Okay. So, so I personally don't like to trade in the first 30 minutes, okay? So, and, and, and since I also not biased on the long side, I rather than for me to go and chase something that I don't believe in or have a conviction in, because everything is about conviction and confidence, right? If you don't have conviction, then don't get into the trade because there is a lot more opportunity to come. So, so don't get into a trade with sort of wishy-washy type of, you know, uh, conviction, right? You have to believe in that trade, otherwise don't take it, just watch, okay? So, so for example, if one want to go long on this thing, right, and if they want to chase this, maybe chase after the opening high, which would be uh, somewhere up here, right? Okay, so if it's, uh, you know, as soon as they, uh, you know, uh, uh, get above that candle, okay, then you want to, because you don't want to wait for the close above that candle. Look at this, this way too much risk, right? You know, so let's say we uh, got in on that at the, uh, uh, you know, close above this, uh, you know, this high, this, you know, that opening high. And depending where you want, you know, if you could put in a risk here, then essentially, you know, that's way too much of a risk for a day trade, right? And uh, otherwise your size will be very small, okay? You could do it, you know, but maybe you find something, you know, right beneath this candle here, right, as you stop, okay? Because you, you, you figure this candle is the breakout candle. And if it could break out, you know, essentially, you know, these candles right here has actually got an inside volume. If that's your breakout candle, then you should be able to put a stop on that, right? If you come back down below that, then you know that, hey, it's not working. You're wrong, right? Get out. So you take your losses and, you know, look for something else to do, right? So if you uh, do this, then if you look at a one, two, three, four, and possibly, uh, you know, maybe on a 5 all, let me uh, make a copy to extend that, okay? So... So that's essentially pretty close to 5 all. if you could get in, get out at the top here, right? Okay, now that's not the trade that I took, right? Because like I said, you know, the trade that I took is based on the setup that I use or that I like to use on, on uh, you know, because I, I really don't like these kind of setup, okay? And uh, here, here's this little uh, topping candle here, right? So you got this, uh, you know, not necessarily ideal doji, but it's a it's sort of a doji spinning top with a little bit of, Wick there, you know, see see here, here's a little price action, you know, got these long wick and getting up there. So so as soon as it uh, crosses down here, right, or even down here, one could go in short and say, okay, here's my stop. Anything above that, I'm out, right? So let's say we, uh, you know, that's basically what we, uh, you know, what I did is I essentially wait for this to close below this candle here, right? So if I put this, you know, and and you can see that you know right now the maximum uh, uh, return here is one two three a little bit over three all right so if you just risk uh, you know here's your your risk here and then you could have you know three time return of your risk if you play it right right so you can see that it came down you know here's another doji you know sort of like a shooting star right okay and when it break down to this uh, resistance. I mean the support here. You can see that it's kind of chopped around. Now I did not get out when it get back above this resistance here because I see this doji here, you know, and essentially, you know, I already got some profit in there. So I'm willing to essentially lock up this profit here, put my stop somewhere up at this one all. So if it come back up, you know, if, I, if it reverse on me, you know, because I simply try to be a little bit greedy or whatever, you know, then that's fine, right? I mean, you know, sometimes you just have to play out because basically I was playing to be, to maybe get an entire reversal, you know, retracement and make a new low of the day. Because the, what, you know, because, because the, you know, uh, I was then watching Netflix to come up and then start pulling back down. And also you see the market is not really moving too much, right? You know, so, so essentially that's basically what I was uh, playing for. And uh, well, it happened that it came down, and it kind of chopped around here. You see how it chopped around between this, you know, this resistance and support line here. Now here's where I got out. Right? As soon as it, you see that it came down, right? 
you know, keep on testing here, and then it closes up above that line. So essentially, you know, that's why I got out. You know, as soon as it closed above that line, so the next candle I got out. Right. So essentially, I capture you know somewhere around maybe a little bit uh, less than three R. Right. And you can see that yeah, it came up and it kind of chopped around. And so, and I didn't trade this anymore. I mean, that's it, done. Right. So those are some of the uh, you know setup that uh, one might. Uh, 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 could uh, learn, you know, to keep an eye out and that kind of stuff. Now, all these setup, you know, it does take a little practice. You have to go, and, and they don't work all the time, all right? Nothing works all the time. And it's all about risk management also, okay? If you don't manage your risk correctly, it doesn't matter how good at that setup. Even though if that's 90% reliable setup, something like, you're still going to screw it up and not make money, okay? So so you, you basically have to uh, go and... So you, you basically have to go and, you know, try... Just kind of watch it for yourself, and oh, maybe there's some other setup that you have that you that, that you see that it might be uh, you know uh, kind of you know uh, uh, spark your interest or something. Okay, so those are a little bit of a tidbit. You know, it's not saying that you should do day trade, and I I don't do day trading that much myself. It's just that on a choppy market like right now, you know, uh, since swing trade is not the the thing to do. So so if I see a good setup. Then you know I go and uh, take that setup, you know. So and 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 on day trading, don't try to watch too many stocks. You know, just focus on, you know, the stock that you follow. You know, maybe a couple of them, and just you know wait for the opportunity to come. Wait for the setup to come, right? You know, you don't have to go rush in to to, to try to force the setup and force the trade. Okay. Good luck.